Now, after the death of Moses, the servant of the Lord, it came to pass that the Lord spake unto Joshua the son of Nun, Moses' minister, saying, Yea, minister of Joshua, arise, and become the subject of another YouTube video satire. And Joshua spake back unto the Lord, saying, Yea, Lord, whose everlasting name the religious bigots can never truly agree upon. Must we be the subjects of yet another Paul Chartley series? I say unto thee, or you, or whatever personal pronoun I'm supposed to use, Yea, though the Paul Chartley videos are even here and too on YouTube, of the subject of much mirth, it is not the type of satire I wish to have brought upon my book, with me, myself, as the titular character. And the Lord spake unto Joshua again, saying, Not to worry, Minister Joshua, whose name I rather like, so much so as to serve as the inspiration for the name of my own begotten Son, who shall be born hereunto in the first book of the New Testament. This is not a Paul Chartley series. And Joshua said unto the Lord, No oh, good. I shall come down and enjoy the show then. And the Lord said, Paul Chartley will read no further than the books of Genesis and Exodus, for he realizes that the Bible is not worth reading, even for comedic purposes. Yet even still, he will have read more of the Bible than most Christians. Behold, these videos, which the users watch by and by on YouTube, are produced by D.S. Pope, also known as Odyssey Man who is but a subscriber to Paul Charlie's channel. And the Lord spake unto minister Joshua, saying, Moses, my servant, is dead. Now therefore arise, go over this Jordan, thou and all this people, unto the land which I give to them, even to the children of Israel. Every place that the sole of your feet shall tread upon, that have I given to you, as I said unto Moses. From the wilderness and this Lebanon, even unto the great river, the river Euphrates, all the land of the Hittites, and unto the great sea towards the going down of the sun, shall be your coast. And Mr. Joshua said unto the Lord, Oh, I'm sorry, I wasn't paying attention. Could you repeat that last part? And the Lord said, Get up off your lazy ass, and go do all those things which I promised Moses that he would do, except that I killed him at the last minute as an act of retribution, because he hit a rock instead of talking to it. And Mr. Joshua thought for a brief moment, and said, And, O Lord, whereunto is the valuable moral lesson that I am to learn from that episode? And the Lord said, The lesson is, um, uh, don't hit rocks? I don't know, come on, don't call me on this stuff. And there should not any man be able to stand before thee all the days of thy life. Except, of course, for all those who will, in fact, be able to stand before thee, and you will not be able to dry out, or shall trick you into thinking that they are travelers from afar, as we shall see in subsequent videos. Of course, all this goes without saying, as you are invading them without any viable cause for war, and they are defending their own homelands, and will fight you to the death to stop you from decimating their people and enslaving their women and children. As I commanded Moses specifically to slay your enemies, to see them driven before you, and to hear the lamentation of their women. As I was with Moses, so I shall be with thee. I will not fail thee, nor forsake thee. I'm sorry, I can't even keep a straight face when I see that. Can you imagine that people actually believe such statements as this one here and too, to actually be true? <laughs> anyway, be strong and of good cheer. For unto this people thou shalt divide for an inheritance the land which I swear unto their fathers to give them. And as we all know, I always kept my promises to their fathers, and have never done anything to deviate from my promises, nor to change my mind in any way. Only be thou strong and very courageous, that thou mayest observe to do according to all the law which Moses my servant and your church member apparently commanded thee. Turn not from it to the right hand nor to the left, Though, as we all know, it is perfectly acceptable to reinterpret certain passages as you see fit, such as the command, Thou shalt not kill, which thou shalt break at every chance thou shalt get. And thou shalt not steal, for thou shalt steal everything from the people that thou shalt hitherto for kill, that thou mayest prosper whithersoever thou goest. This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, for thou knowest that the best way to hold the Bible is to clinch it in between thy teeth. 
thou shalt meditate on it day and night like some kind of mountain-dwelling mystical guru, that thou mayest observe to do all according to that is written therein. For then thou shalt make the way prosperous, and thou shalt have good success, for any good military commander knows that the best way to prepare for battle is to read the Bible instead of studying field manuals or perhaps classical works about combat, such as Sun Tzu's Art of War. Have I not commanded thee? Be strong and of good courage, be not afraid, neither be thou dismayed. For the Lord thy God is with thee whithersoever thou goest. But honestly, this is the fourth time I have told you to be courageous and brave, which is a phrase I like so much that I shall command Rod Stewart to include it in his song, Forever Young. I am beginning to think that I am repeating the command to be courageous and strong because, on a deep psychological level, I am beginning to think that you are not the right person for this job. Perhaps I shall command your followers to repeat this phrase to you one more time at the end of this video. Then Minister Joshua commanded the officers and petty officers and chief petty officers and warrant officers and civil law enforcement officers and shopping center security officers, also known as mall cops, saying, Pass through the hosts and command the people, saying, Prepare you victuals. For within three days ye shall pass over this Jordan and go in to possess the land, which the Lord your God giveth you to possess it. And the officer said unto Minister Joshua, What kind of victuals do you want the people to pack? Is there a packing list? Some of yonder soldiers desire to pack their laptops and PlayStation portables. Will high-speed internet be available to your fine young lads? For they shall surely wish to record YouTube videos by which they may give messages to the families and invite Mila Kunis to the Marine Corps Ball. And another officer said unto Minister Joshua, Yea, but they'll give us our brave soldiers but 72 hours' notice prior to their combat deployment and still have yet to provide them with adequate equipment and training with which to do this. Are you sure about these orders? And Minister Joshua said unto him, I've got your orders right here, buddy. And the officer said unto him, Aren't you supposed to grab your crotch when you say that? To which Joshua replied, Wouldn't that hurt? And to the Reubenites, and to the Gadites, and to the half-tribe of Manasseh spake Joshua, saying, Lo, I certainly hope that I pronounce the names of your tribes correctly, for surely such a mistake would be an error of biblical proportions. Anyway, remember the word which Moses, the servant of the Lord, and my church member apparently commanded you, saying, The Lord your God hath given you rest, and hath given you this land. And this has very little to do with the fact that you killed a bunch of unarmed and ill-prepared Bedouin peasants and took their lands by force. Your wives, your little ones, and your cattle shall remain in the land which Moses gave you on this side Jordan. But ye shall pass before your brethren armed, all the mighty men of valor, and help them, until the Lord have given your brethren rest, as he hath given you, and they also have possessed the land which the Lord your God giveth them, and ye shall return unto the land of your possession and enjoy it, which Moses, the Lord's servant, and my church member, gave you on this side Jordan, towards the sun rising. For that is surely how this story is going to unfold in the long run, for no military strategy ever deviates from its original plan that being to sack the capital city, capture their leader who shall henceforth be hiding in any dirty bomb shelter, and you shall then institute regime change and shall open up their oil pipelines so that when you return into your families in peace, gas prices will have dropped dramatically and this shall in no way have a devastating effect upon the national economy. Most assuredly, this will not happen. And they answered Joshua, saying, All that thou commandest we will do, and whithersoever thou sendest us, we will go, for as you well know, we are all still swept up in post-9-11 paranoia, and all but one of us will vote for this war in Congress, and only a handful of popular celebrities will speak out against us, but of course, we never listen to them anyway. According as we hearken unto Moses in all things, we will hearken to thee. Only the Lord thy God be with thee, as he was with Moses. But if you would think carefully about this, this would appear to be a bit of a failed threat, as we never really hearkened unto Moses in all things, as we questioned his orders at every turn, built a golden calf to worship instead of Yahweh, murmured about free bread until we were miraculously given quail meat, and are only awaiting an opportune moment to abandon the silly Yahweh worship and begin to worship false idols, until such point as we are invaded and carried away captive into a foreign land. But this is the subject of another book. Whosoever he be that doth rebel against thy commandment, and will not hearken unto thy words and all that thou commandest him, he shall be put to death for surely he will be guilty of violating his enlistment oath. 
in which he swore to obey all orders of Minister Joshua and the officers appointed over him, according to the Law of Moses and the Uniform Code of Military Justice. Only be ye strong and of a good courage, which is Yahweh's phrase that we do hereby repeat at the end of this video, because, let's face it, we don't have any confidence in your leadership skills either. Up to the walls of Jericho, smart gun in his hand, goes the love in the heart, God dies away, the battle is in my hand, hallelujah, God you fit the battle of